Hello everybody, welcome back to Balatra's Road to 100%. Let's go back to the challenges today. Double or nothing can wait, we'll revisit that another day. Inflation. Permanently raise prices by $1 on every purchase. Start with the credit card. Can't have discounts. Everything else starts normally. Okay. That's going to be a nightmare, but a coupon tag early is very welcome. I don't know if the coupon tag is going to impact prices when we purchase something that's effectively free, but we'll find out when we get there. Um, I could do... Oh, we've already gotten rid of so many hearts. There's a ten. Ten of hearts and all. But we get there, we get our three extra dollars, which are going to be important here. So, if we buy ice cream, everything then goes up by one dollar, huh? Well, let's take faceless then, because that's earned five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. And now this is six dollars. Alright, we'll take ice cream. And then we'll take the coupon tag. Make everything in the next shop free. So, we want to discard three face cards at the same time. That's not going to work because that's debuffed, unfortunately. That will work. And then there is a meager full house. But we get exactly 600 points for it, so I can hardly complain. Uh, delay gratification could be great. Judgment is also not bad. Let's buy and use this and see if everything goes up by a dollar. No, they stay at zero. That's great. All right, we'll take this as well. We'll take both of these. I fear that everything in the next shop is going to be remarkably expensive, but... We'll have to see when we get there. Straights, I guess. I don't love it. I'm not going to reroll here. Vouchers are just unbelievably expensive. Oh. Well, well, well. We could go into debt to buy them both. I don't hate it. I mean, that is just a straight flush from the off. We could obviously, if we want to earn money with Faceless, we can't earn money with Delayed Gratification. So those two things are directly diametrically opposed, but that's fine. We're okay. Give me $6 for Delayed Gratification. Well, it's another way we can earn money. So I'll take it. We'll save the other negative tag for the next shop. Give me $20. I could take $20. We'll do this. Okay. This, this wants me to play a full house. I could try and play a full house for sure. We've not changed any of the cards in the deck, except we do have a six and a four that are improved. So we'll look for that four. We don't find it, but we do find some twos. There's a lot of hearts. All right, I will play the hearts in lieu of playing a full house because we've got three evens in this. All right, show me another six. That's pretty good. We could do 65432. That's got three evens in it. And we've leveled up straights to level two.
what is this money making joker rng on this challenge honestly all right i will take it but i really need more score like i really need more score which is not those things half joker is interesting to me oh these are all like getting bigger and bigger and bigger because the cost of them is getting bigger and bigger that's interesting. We're going to lose one dollar for everything we played. This wants me to discard aces. This wants me to play a full house. This wants me to discard three or more face cards at the same time. This wants me to never discard anything. So those three things really synergizing well. Not. Um... I need to find evens, basically. Like, even trips. And that's going to be so much money gone so fast. I don't love splitting up the fours, but... At the very least, this is a straight with three even cards in it. Goodbye, all of my money. And now we're splitting up these twos, but again, it's something, right? The extra multiplier is nice. I cannot afford anything. Sure, sure. Give me $9 back. No, I'd rather try and play like a full house or discard some kings or something. You know? So that's going to give us to-do list value. And a lot of even Steven value. That's 3,000 points. is not bad for a decent full house. What do you want me to discard? Kings and faceless. So that's going to be $8 to me. There's one, two left in the deck. There's a bunch of fours left in the deck. Oh, jeez. Okay. I would rather, I think, play trips and guess the get the plus 20 than a full house and have it score a little more. And to-do list wants three of a kind, so that works out nicely. I think delayed gratification just has to go for some scoring. Runner is not scoring. You want to keep discards. You don't really help me at all. Oh my god. What is this economy joker madness? You want me to discard nines? You want me to discard all the face cards? I'll take a diamond. Or would I rather look for fives and eights? I think I would. Of course, we get all the components of a straight. Alright, trip fives. It's not even, though, which is rough.
There's no way this is a 7,000 point trips, is there? I doubt. Not at all. Hilarious that it would give us every money joker in the game. But without the scoring to back it up, it did not help. Uh, show me clubs or queens full of eights. That will do it. Um, I'm not going to be able to afford to make fortune teller really, really good. I think I'm just going to take my $2 of interest here. Oh, thank you so much for the efficient full house. And then I take a 10-4. Great stuff. You're only $2, but you are... I guess I have to take something if I'm going to get through these next couple rounds reasonably well, don't I? Easier to find hearts, I assume. Well, I'll take the quad sevens. Spectral pack could be interesting. Magic trick is definitely not good for us. Spectral pack. Yes. Give me something major here. Both of these are interesting. Neither of these are jokers that I'd like to really keep around forever, but polychrome is great. But also getting five, getting twenty dollars, and a thinner deck is not bad. But I'm gonna sell this guy, do this, and hope that that keeps me going for a little while. Show me one really good hand, so I know what I'm up against on the final boss here. 900 points for a flush. Half Joker is back. I mean, it's plus 30 malt with this polychrome guy here. We need 800 points for that. I like the idea of a skip tag just because... Getting money from skip tags and the like is pretty good. A 10 or a 3 I would take. Trip 3s plus a bunch. Hopefully this is enough. Yes, indeed. And the more blinds we skip, the more shops we skip, the less stuff we buy. Um, gift card, then another economy joker is hilarious, but I don't think it's the right one for me right here. Neither of those guys are great either. Blue joker and obelisk are both interesting to me. We've played a full house three times. How fast can I cram together some high cards to make Obelisk be bigger? Is a great question. Now we've got three full houses, so I can play three high cards, three pairs, three threes, but or three trips, but then Half Joker becomes redundant. So I'll take this for chips. Uh, top up tag might be good though double tag doesn't help with it. Of course you give me the four that I don't want. Alright, let me just play a pair and see what we get. Fair enough. 
quads and free shop rerolls are not things I want to spend my money on. Common jokers. I mean, two free things is lovely. The fact that the double tag is wasted is like, eh. I swear to God, game. What are you doing to me? All club cards are debuffed. Alright, trip sixes. And a pair of kings will get it done. Credit card remains pretty useless to me. Matador, another economy joker. This can't be RNG, can it? Honestly, it's unbelievable. Um, ride the bus, I feel like it's too late for, but also we could play a bunch of high card. So I will do it. Okay. So let's just play a pair. This goes to one malt. Let's play high card, but with four cards to slow down this progress on the malt because I don't want to score too fast. Um, I think high card is going to do six points anyway, so there's that. I need, like, card sharp or something. Don't love either of these for our current situation. Start with zero discards is scary. I'm going to play... Because more opportunities to make the bus bigger is better. I'm going to play ace high and get rid of one of these jacks because it won't score with the bus. 4,000 points. Um, I'm going to play this because if I draw a bunch of... I mean, I can still use my discards, can't I? Don't know why I'm getting hung up on not using discards here when it really doesn't matter. Right, high card's worth three grand to me, but the bus is now plus six. How can I say no? It looks so delicious. And, you know, it's a $16 cone of ice cream. It must be good. Start with zero discards. This is hell for me right now. Right, what does one high card score me? Because I might just have to play high card three times and hope I get 4,000 apiece. Because if I draw three more face cards... Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I was so worried. Um, you are great. You're plus 20. You are plus 15. But you don't have the condition on you which seems a bit more desirable. We sell that for six, get that. Would I like a death card? I kind of would. Just for a pinch, you know. Uh, $15? Nope, we make our bus bigger. We are here to make our bus bigger. Here's high card. Okay. Double polychrome is doing work. The trio could also be doing work. 3x when we play three of a kind or hand contains. 1.5x plus four or ice cream that's going to melt anyway is swings and roundabouts on what's good or not in this situation. I think ultimately... 3x is really strong. In fact, would we ever get rid of abstract 
and just go polychrome, polychrome, 3x. Kind of think we might. Everything's getting so expensive now, though. So obviously, every time we make our bus bigger, our ice cream gets smaller. That contains trips, but I will play high card to boost the bus for two hands before I play the trips. Or, you know, don't need the trips at all. Bus is at plus 11. We are at the interest cap. All hearts are debuffed. We've got trip fives in hand so we can play a pair of threes then we can play nine high then we can play a pair of fours And then we can finish with the trip fives and see what that looks like for us right now. 25k. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, hello. This ice cream is going to melt eventually. Do we go double trio? Seems like a sensible plan to me. I do love the double trio combo. Do we know our boss blind? No. Minus one hand size. Sure. We might take this negative in a second. We might not. Alright, we've got trip fives. We can play a pair of eights with this king. Now we just work slowly, methodically. We make our bus bigger. We don't accidentally play too many hands. All that standard stuff, you know? Now, we absolutely can play quads here and start with 7x because quads can, contains two uh, pairing trips. So that's fine. So if we can keep drawing reasonably well, I think this could go the distance. We got $35. Jokers cost around 20 We'll do this and this. We have death if we really need it. So I'm going to start with just playing nine high, I guess. Keep the ten. And nine high again. Right. There's nine high again. Alright, we have tens, we have aces. We can use death to make a pair of something. There's two aces left, two tens left. We have one discard left. We'll use it. Um, I guess I'm going to do this now. I want to copy an enhanced card when I make the third ace. We can play the full house. But I'm cautious that I would like to have another hand to play after this. If this doesn't happen to be 35k. So we'll hold the tens. And they can be something to play afterwards if we absolutely need it. We didn't, but it was close. Well, we're not spending 20 bucks on that because played faces give plus 30 chips when scored will completely destroy our ride the bus. Do I want $15 for a spectral pack? No. I don't want to spend too much money on re-rolling because obviously 
money is very important. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. Okay, all the more reason to play fewer hands then. 70,000 is a lot though. And apart from our aces, the cards aren't doing the scoring. The, uh, the jokers are. So let's keep buffing this bus. Alright, trip nines. You love to see it. Alright, now we play the trip nines because it's two hands to go but we don't know that we'll get enough points with this. We were fine. We haven't played the aces yet, which means they, they are still viable in the finale of the round. Tens and aces here. Play nine high. Play a pair of deuces, getting rid of the king without its scoring. Trip tens was like 36k or something 41 we just get there again bloodstone and scholar interesting but not what we need ultimately uh this is 14 dollars to get 20 dollars, but it also makes everything else more expensive so i don't know if that's actually worthwhile <laughs> Guess I'll do it. Four fingers. Lucky. You're plus three. Three of a kind? Ah, oh, $15 to make it better. Feels so rough. But we've done it now. All cards played previously are debuffed. Okay. Just ditch this lot. Um, I could go for just playing this full house immediately. I'm fine with that. 44,000. And then we can play this full house. The 10s won't score, but we don't need them to. Lovely. We're up to anti-8. <coughs> question is, can we get through this? Hilarious. I don't want to go back and ante. That seems like a terrible plan. Honestly, I don't think there's much to change about this situation. Forces one card to be selected is not too bad. We need 50k here. We have a lot of options of finding trips. And we do. Let's play this full house, then we'll have the aces in reserve for another round of trips. Okay, well, we're not going to need the trips then, because we only need 2,000 points more. If I play high card here, I'm assuming that's going to still be plenty of points, but who knows. Yeah, 4,000 points for high card. Okie dokie. Um, we know what's going up next. I would rather spend money in the next shop rather than this shop, I guess. Couple of sixes, couple of deuces. There's... Our first full house. 49,000 as they slowly get larger owing to... I can play this high card, I think. Uh, they slowly get larger because the bus is getting bigger.
All right, this is getting scary now. Play ace high. Even if we don't get trips back, we can play two pair. But we do get trips back. You love to see it. So, 100,000 points with multiple full houses. We need 100,000 points to win. We have $44. Let's do this. Hex isn't it. And I don't think ectoplasm is either. 20 dollars for a joker we're not buying either of those right now if there's a glass card in here i would take it no but i think a stone card is valid all right here we go um play ace high save discards for when Face cards are selected and look for deuces and trays. Damn. Oh yeah, playing full houses here is going to be a dick, isn't it? It's going to be a real, real dick. Ah, oh, I hate this. I hate this a lot. I don't really want to play a straight, so I'm not gonna. Hey. Full house or quads? I think we take the quads, play the king, then we've got fives remaining in hand. 60 times 7 is a nice chunky start. Fifty-six thousand. Oh my god, what a draw. Has he done it? Yes, he has. <laughs> oh, good stuff. That challenge was rough. Like, we got there in the end, but the options we had along the way were very few. So, that was inflation done. We've almost got the last ones unlocked. For now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.